back in the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. So this is my non-spoiler review of Picard because I just really like it. Okay, I really like it. It's really, really good. I'm doing a full spoiler review this uh, on uh, Saturday night. That'll be Saturday, March the 18th, uh, uh, live. Come and join me, 6 o'clock UK time. That'll be, what, 1 p.m.? Oh, no, the clock's changed in, in, in America. Oh, I gotta remember that clock change in in, uh, in America. So come and join me for uh, 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 the full deep dive review. If you're not watching it uh, uh, and you like Star Trek, you like Next Generation, it's for you. Go check it out. Don't watch anything that came before, right? In fact, I would recommend not watching anything uh, after Insurrection. Okay, just don't watch anything after Insurrection, and, and this all goes comes together really quite nicely. As I said. Spoiler-free review. It's a lot to talk about. I really, really am digging this. I hope you are too. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, comment. All those things are very, very good. Thank you very much for doing all those things. I am uh, uh, I am grateful for you doing all those things. That is fan Dabby Double Dozy. Uh, if you're on Rumble, hit the subscribe button. If you're not on Rumble, go to Rumble and hit the subscribe button. Rumble is doing so much better for me than YouTube. That actually might be my uh, uh, might well be my main uh, 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 my main channel. So right uh, uh, which means i'm going to move more into in, you know into live streaming than to videos but uh, uh good news for me <laughs> anyway like share subscribe comment and this was from my live stream i did last night so that will be on the march 16th uh, when's this going out probably today probably on friday i got new very fast internet so i can upload this video quickly fine like share subscribe comment now let me hand over to me from last night i uh, i i came hot foot from uh, uh, watching Picard season three, episode five, and it just keeps getting no, no spoilers, right? No spoilers. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna do uh, the reviews of uh, Picard and maybe Mando on Saturday, right? That's the plan. Oh, it's good. Uh, yeah, honestly, why, why are we not doing Mando right now? <laughs> I was too busy watching Picard to get the screen grab. So then I'll put it on. I'll get the first like twenty minutes. See, see what it's like. Man, it's the best episode yet. Okay, I think Gary said it. He said it as well. But he saw it before us. It's like the best episode yet. It's crazily good, right? It really is. It's just like <coughs> firing on all cylinders. I, I, um, just standout performances. I was. I was. Very, very, very impressed, right? I was uh, uh, suitably impressed. Um, so, yeah, I mean, on a lot of levels. I mean, even Raph is okay in this, right? Uh, um, oh, there you go. Uh, I mean, like, uh, um, it, it gets, really, they all, they, it's strange, you know, because Star Trek uh, into, the, was it the second one? It was called Star Trek Into Darkness, right? Star Trek Into Darkness seemed like pure fan service. It seemed like greatest hit Star Trek karaoke, and it wasn't very good. It wasn't really a cohesive story. It didn't tie together. Um, ripped. I mean, look, it's Kurtzman, right? It ripped off um, the best bit of the set of the first one, right? <laughs> kind of ridiculously, right? Uh, and I had like this. It was Kurtzman. Just have this dark, evil Starfleet plot. It's fucking cursed when I see it all the way through. Yeah, what's the name? That dumb uh, uh, character played by a uh, good actor. You know, what's the name? Um, from Westworld. The man in black. Man, I, I miss Westworld. Um, Robocop. Oh, I can't even remember his name. Hey, whatever it is. Uh, uh, that was just shit. Oh, that was shit. It should have been about Khan. If you're gonna do, if you're gonna do a Khan movie with weirdly, uh, what's his name Cumberbatch as Khan, which is, I mean, I know it was Flavor of the Month and you all loved him, but I think that, I mean, he he was fine as Khan. Actually, he was. I, his take on it was good. He's a very good actor. <coughs> I think yeah, they should have gone with somebody like. <laughs> Anti, uh, what's that? I heard the. Uh, 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 was it Antonio? What's this guy named Zorro? Antonio Barres, that guy. I can't remember his name. This could be. They should have been a Latin actor. I mean, come on, rich Corinthian leather, right? Ricardo Montalban. He was very, very Latin. <laughs> I want to say Latinx because I like, don't want to insult anyone. 
But he was, he was very, I mean, and, and, and Cumberbatch just isn't, right? He just isn't at all. It should have been about Khan. I mean, that's, that's the bottom line. It didn't have a through line. It's like three plots all flailing around. It was shit. I, I like too much coke going on, right? And Kurtzman's a piece of shit who doesn't know how to write Star Trek. Should have got Terry Bloody Metallus to write it. It would have been good. Oh, Terry, we love you, mate. Yeah, so this is Picard. Fucking awesome. It's just awesome. It's crazy how good it is. <coughs> I mean, you go watch it, right? <coughs> you go watch it, and uh, 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 you tell me, right? You tell me if I'm lying. It's awesome. <coughs> it's, it's, it's literally <coughs> the best Star Trek, Star Trek I've seen. I mean, I mean, it is better than the Star Trek movies were for the original cast, right? It is just Sub sublimely good, right? It is absolutely sublimely good. Um, what's the name's back? Okay, so I'll, I'll give you some. These are very mild spoilers, right? And it's not really a spoiler. But uh, uh, Michelle Forbes shows up pretty early on in the episode, right? Oh, oh Michelle Forbes, yeah, stop it. That sounds good. The thing is, <laughs> she was in so many things after Star Trek because she was in Star Trek. <coughs> yeah, like uh, Battlestar Galactica, then uh, um, True Blood, and <laughs> a bunch of stuff. Yes. <coughs> stuff like that. Right. I forgot she was in Star Trek. Right. I forgot she was in. <laughs> <coughs> but they remind you pretty early on. Oh, no, no. That's Ro Laren. And it's really all about the relationship between Picard and Ro, uh, which is fabulous. I mean, it's just, it's all so well played. It's unbelievable. I mean, I'm, I'm so impressed. Uh, well played, well well written. Meanwhile, Wolf and uh, Rafi, their side quest <coughs> comes, comes back, and I like it, you know. I think this is the smartest use of Rafi possible, right? Um, yeah, I, I, I think she'll kind of grandfathered in. I think this is the smartest use of Rafi possible. Also, you know, they've already heavily intimated that it's not really an android with <laughs> Picard's memories. More it feels like this <laughs> medical treatment he had, this radical medical treatment. But it's still Picard, right? I mean, like, the way I think it's being retconned is that he he was infused with AI, uh, was it nanobots or something, uh, uh, which, like, you know, assumed his intelligence. I sound like that. I don't know, I don't know, but it's still basically him. Anyway, that's, I mean, I think you can do that in your head, Canon. But anyway, uh, um, it's... Uh, um, it's just so authentically Star Trek. I do like it when they go outside of Starfleet into like the modern Starfleet world. And this feels very authentically that. Oh my God! There is a Vulcan in it this week. Who plays that Vulcan? He plays it with an English accent, but I think it was an American with putting on the English accent. One second, let's have a look. He's famous for like, you know, tough guy roles. I've seen it in a bunch of stuff. I can't remember him. Um, Star Trek. Because S O three E O five. Okay. Um. Okay. You know what? Let's go to IMDb. I'll try. IMDb. <coughs> okay. The card. All right. So if I go to season three. Okay. Oh, there you go. Excuse me, episode five, imposter. Let's see if I get the full cast. That's top cast. I want to see the full cast. Where, where's the cast? <coughs> I think I'm happy. Okay, no, 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 no. This is just the top cast. <coughs> I want the full cast. <coughs> no, no, no. This is wrong. 
<laughs> How do I get to the cast? This, this is really annoying. <laughs> One second. <laughs> <coughs> really doesn't say here it's just the recurring cast <coughs> what how how can that <coughs> how can it not be on IMDb <coughs> it already been bloody aired they got the transport department they got the stunt department <coughs> I I but Producers, that's really weird. Okay, let's try this. Oh, a trick because it's three oh five. Uh, Vulcan, the Vulcan gangster, it's really cool. It really is, and it really works. Okay, who plays the podcast Vulcan Gangster in season three? Thank you. That's the guy. Let me show the screen. <laughs> who, who'd have thought it? <coughs> screen rant actually being useful. Who'd have thought it? <laughs> it's crazy. <coughs> Familiar face to our fans of Arrow and 12 Monkeys. Yeah, he's been a, that's him. He's been in punches and stuff. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's weird, he kind of plays it with a uh, um, uh, um, like an English accent. It's, it's kind, of, kind of, yeah, Kirk Avocado. There, Ace <laughs> Acevedo. <coughs> That's who he played. Yeah, he played the villain in, in uh, <coughs> Arrow. Ah, uh, what, what tissues are. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Let me see if I find the uh... <coughs> where's this? Uh... <laughs> Fine, look. look at the Wikipedia. Yeah, twenty four. That's exactly the sort of show he should be. He was in all the time, right? It's that guy. Um, white collar. Yeah, CSI. <laughs> this is all that. Yeah. These are all the shows you see in him. Arrow, uh, the offer I've never seen. Twelve Monk is totally the show he will be in. Uh, he's been in all this crap. I forgot he was in The Walking Dead. Uh, it looks like just one episode. <laughs> right. Um, but he's got that. Like, he's got that weird tough guy kind of thing. Oh. Was he in that show Seven Days? Oz? I, oh, yeah, yeah. Oz. He was in the uh, uh, recurring role in uh, uh, the prison drama Oz. Yeah, that that's the sort of thing you expect to see him. Band of Brothers, right? Are you getting the template? So I thought it was very good casting for a Romulan. I really, really do. It's uh, um, uh, Black Connor. is a guy. Fringe, I remember him being in that. Um... Anyway, so that that bloke as a uh, uh, a Vulcan, really, really clever. I think that 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 yeah, I think this really works, right? And the Vulcan it is um, very Vulcany about being a gangster, right? It, it, it's very funny. Brett, that really works. I like that a lot. There's some great moments with Wolf. I mean, like truly great mo moments with Wolf, where you, your your heart's in your mouth, and the um, the whole mystery of Picard's son. Is progress somewhat with, along with the uh, uh, the changeling thing. Uh, Captain Shaw is awesome. We love Captain Shaw, right? More Captain Shaw, please. Captain Shaw is awesome, right? Somebody suggested a remake of the Rockford Files with Captain Shaw. Yeah, that's actually a very good idea, right? That's what Terry Batana should should do. No, we should just do Star Trek. He he really knows what he's doing, right? Uh, um. Would love to see him do Enterprise, the Romulan War. 
uh, mini series. Yeah, like have them come out of retirement for that. I would love to see that. That would be awesome, right? Um, who, who? Yeah, I guess you bring Brandon Bragg up for that. Right for that, it'll be. It'll, it will seem wrong not to, right? Uh, uh, you will certainly want him involved in some way. For it is very very nineties, right? Um, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so uh, Picard, uh, it just. Massive thumbs up. My name's Fila Beck and the Rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah.